I had no plans to release a Minecraft video today. That was until one of the Minecraft engineers posted a really cool feature that's just been added to the experimental version of the Minecraft launcher. Honeybee Hansen tweeted this and said, Hey everyone, the launcher is doing something different and we could use your feedback. We have enabled a quick play bar for Minecraft Java. All you need to do is enable the feature in settings and launch into a Java game. And they did post an article and we're going to go through it all. It does not matter if you're using the older Minecraft launcher or the newer one. All you need to do is head down to settings. Make sure you're in the general tab and at the bottom you are going to see experimental features. You want to enable this. Just tick it. Enable experimental quick play feature for Minecraft Java. Then go back to Minecraft Java and boot up your game. However, I've already done this and I can show you a quick preview. So the first world I had here, again, I launched it with Optifine. Basically says the last time I launched this was 23 minutes ago. And then we have this one, which is a world for me, which in brackets is stream. If I was to click on this and launch up the game, it is now going to directly launch Minecraft Java into that world. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, well, you could just click on these and then click play. You're right, you could. But this one will take you directly to your Minecraft world. Let's test it out. And just like that, this was the world that I was in. There's no need to go to the main menu and then log into this world. And if I quickly save and quit and we just go to single player, a world for me, which again is stream. So if I was to go ahead and create a brand new world now and load it up, it's going to basically tell me that that was the last world that I was in. So impressed with this. I'll leave this article down below, but this is just a small paragraph explaining as to what this is. It was posted on the official feedback website. Now, this is only supported in the Minecraft versions 1.20 and above. And it will save up to five of your most recent worlds. As mentioned right here, quick play presents your five most recent worlds. And then if we go a little bit further, it does say quick play as a feature is supported in Java 1.20 or later. On the top right, it does display the world that we were just in. We were in here less than a minute ago. It's a single player world. It's survival. And as you can see, this is the previous one, which we have not touched. And it just says it's a quick play feature. If you use the arrow, it just says quick play and it will only display the latest one that you were in. In terms of what this is available, well, inside of here, you can actually change the icons if you really wanted to. Like, obviously, it's the Optifine one. If you wanted to go and change it to a TNT one, you're actually able to do that. Okay, let's do a little bit more experimenting with this. We're back on the Minecraft launcher, as you can see here. We were in this world less than a minute ago. It does explain that this was a single player world and a survivor world. There's also a disclaimer because I'm using Optifine, which of course is a modified version. So let's go and do this in the latest snapshot and let's see what is displayed. As a reminder, if you have enabled this setting down here and you're not seeing these up here, that is because you actually have to go into a world for it to register. So when I booted up for the first time, these were not being displayed here. So remember that you have to go into your world to start off with. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go inside of my snapshot world here. And then I'm going to just simply exit out of this world. And I'm kind of curious though if in real time this is going to save. Right? So I'm inside one of my latest snapshot video worlds. If I go back to the launcher. Okay, so it's not actually there. If I was to close this... Would it actually save? It does. Oh, wow. So it does update in real time. That's actually really impressive. But yes, you have to be in your world and then kind of exit out in order for it to be registered up here. But again, 
let's just like go to let's say this and then back inside of this because i don't know why this one's being displayed first surely surely this one should go in front of this one as of right now i'm basically trying to break it since it's in experimental i wanted to see if there was any bugs now one thing i did discover is this is the unnamed installation well this is what my snapshot is currently called unnamed installation which it is the latest snapshot so what happened there is i loaded this up regularly and before the game fully loaded up i instantly closed the game and it has kind of saved it as a separate kind of version however one thing i do want to show you and one thing i do want to say is that when i do instantly click play on the latest snapshots it does take a little bit longer to load but honestly not that much longer than the same way you've already been booting up minecraft itself so if all is correct this will instantly put me into my creative snapshot world. Yeah, it did. I'm straight into my game, holding the exact same things that I was holding last time. No problem at all. So I really like this feature. So if we, there's no need to boot up this menu, no need to go into single player, no need to boot into this. Like if I just wanted to do it really, really quickly, I can do that. All right, let's do a little bit more testing with separate versions. I messed around with Optifine. I've messed around with snapshots. Let's go ahead and just play one of the latest versions. So we'll just do regular 1.20.1. It did say that you have to play a version and it's only supported in 1.20 up. So what I do want to do is go to one of my older worlds here. We're going to try a world that was in 1.17, which was my underground, which was ported from Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So I am going to play this. All right, so this is my underground world, fully loaded, a relatively big file. No idea what's happened to the item frames here. I'm going to instantly close this game. We're going to grab the launcher and just see if it, yeah, it registers in real time. So I love this. So now we have one, two, three, four, five that are there. So the biggest test is now to see what happens when you load up another world. Let's try this with another modded version. We're going to try Fabric Loader 1.20.1. Now, one thing I did discover is we have this here, which is pinned to Quick Bar, which I basically wanted to keep this at the front. Let's say that's my favorite world and we click Save. You can see here, this one goes right to the front. Maybe you wanted to mess around with the latest snapshots pin and you click save. Again, you can move these in specific order. It'd be so much easier if you could just drag or drop these though. It, it makes life so much easier. So if we were to like unpin that and click save, yes, they do move. It's a little bit of an inconvenience, but something that can be resolved. All right, let's load this up. Okay, I'm inside of this world. I would have to close down this world, go to the Minecraft launcher. Wait for this to fully register and one of them has been replaced now it looks like it is in order so it's got rid of the first optifine world that we were in rather than replacing the one that's last it gets rid of that so it does go in order so technically speaking this one should be next then it'll be this one then it'll be this one and then it'll be this one anyway thought it was a pretty cool feature just wanted to share it with you it is in experimental give it a try I kind of liked it. It just saves a little bit of time.